Welcome to our lesson on Secure Configuration and Version Control. Today, we'll cover the critical aspects of managing security throughout the software lifecycle, focusing on configuration and version control. In this chapter, you'll learn about secure configuration and version control. We'll define strategy and create a roadmap, manage security within software development methodologies, identify security standards and frameworks, define and develop security documentation, develop security metrics, learn about decommissioning software, and report security status. Configuration control is a fundamental aspect of secure software development. Configuration refers to the specific elements that control how software operates, such as configuration files. These files enable features and functionalities at runtime. Configuration management includes issues related to hardware, software, documentation, interfaces, and patching processes. Developing computer code is not a simple task. Modern applications take significant time to build and assemble. Each part goes through various builds or versions. Managing the versions and changes of all these individual pieces is referred to as version control. This involves uniquely marking and managing each different release, typically with numbers or combinations of numbers and letters. As projects grow in size and complexity, a version control system capable of tracking all the pieces is needed. Version control systems also manage access to source files, preventing developers from overriding each other's work. These systems can either lock sections of code for single developer access or allow multiple edits followed by a version merge. Automation in configuration management and version control is crucial to eliminate human errors and ensure efficient operations. Configuration management involves two main roles. The customer role, responsible for product maintenance after release, and the supplier role, responsible for managing the product configuration before release. The supplier organization writes the configuration management plan, but this plan is created jointly with customer managers to ensure all responsibilities are understood and maintained throughout both organizations. A configuration manager oversees the plan's execution, ensuring the requirements are carried out during development. This role also involves conducting audits independently of the development team. A customer representative is assigned to resolve configuration control issues between the producer and customer, approve change proposals, and ensure a smooth transition to product management. Configuration management incorporates configuration control and verification control. These are implemented through change process management, baseline control, and configuration verification. Secure Development Life Cycles, or SDLs, contain common components to operationalize security design principles. The first component is team awareness and education programs on security practices and methods. The second component is security gates, which act as checkpoints to ensure compliance with security requirements before advancing a project. Three sets of tools, bug tracking, threat modeling, and fuzzing, are used to perform security-specific tasks during development. Finally, a security review ensures all required activities have been performed and completed to an appropriate level. Security can be embedded in any development methodology, whether waterfall-based, agile, or a combination. Agile methods are designed to increase innovation and efficiency for small programming teams, relying on quick turns with small increases in functionality. Examples of Agile methods include Scrum and Extreme Programming. Adding security steps to Agile processes can have significant payoffs by catching and preventing errors early in the process. The Waterfall model is a sequential development process where each step is completed before moving to the next. This model is less adaptive and more challenging for complex processes. Adding security steps to a waterfall process involves identifying and addressing security issues early to avoid difficulties later. Numerous security standards and frameworks guide the design of secure development processes. Examples include BSA, the Software Alliance, OWASP, and SAFE code. These standards aim to reduce vulnerabilities and manage defect correction in a timely and safe manner. Having solid process documents is essential for producing secure software. 
These documents should be transparent and accessible to all team members, including security requirements, coding standards, threat models, and bug reports. Open sharing of security information is crucial for effective communication and collaboration across teams. Metrics are essential for measuring security objectives and process performance. Important metrics include the number of repeated errors, common errors, criticality levels, and remediation times. These metrics provide insights into error patterns and help improve the development process over time. The software disposal process safely terminates a system or software entity, ensuring all retained information is secured. Disposal involves deactivation, disassembly, and removal of product elements, maintaining records for audit purposes. A formal disposal plan outlines the steps for transitioning to new systems and archiving old system data. Management relies on key metrics to assess security status. Performance reports and dashboards help track metrics over time, ensuring informed decision-making and targeted feedback. Quick Tips Configuration management and version control operations require detailed record-keeping. Use automated systems for efficient management. Incorporate security steps in any development process. Use standards and frameworks to reduce vulnerabilities. Ensure transparent security documentation. Develop and use security metrics for process improvement. Properly decommission software and manage data disposition. Thank you for joining this lesson on secure configuration and version control. Implement these practices to ensure secure software development and effective lifecycle management.